was kind of a couple different types of people, leaders that I worked with. Some, you know, just were, they had that true ambition to just make a name for themselves and, and move up and make more money and get recognized, get promoted, uh, that kind of a thing. Um, and then there were others who just sort of like, just were kind of like, I'm just going to do my job and do what I think is right. And they didn't say the right things in meetings just to kind of get, you know, uh, hope, hoping that that would kind of move them up. They would just say what was real and true and, and speak, you know, kind of call out when something was wrong. Hey, this is not the right thing for us to be doing as a, as a company. And I always respected that a lot, you know, and there's a, a couple, you know, a few guys I worked with like that, who it, it re you know, I, I started to kind of model my behavior after that of like, you know, just, just do what's right. Just do the right thing. Uh, um, you know, uh, try to, uh, don't worry about what upper management thinks about what I'm doing. And, you know, sometimes that could go wrong, but I mean, I think in the, in the if you're, if you're really keeping the mindset of I'm going to do what I believe is right, uh, then all the rest kind of takes care of itself. And so I kind of saw that, you know, if I modeled my behavior after those leaders, um, good things just kept happening. You know, like I, I, like I said, I, I didn't know anything about, first of all, I didn't know anything about fuel cells. Then I didn't know anything about manufacturing. I didn't know much about any of these jobs that I was doing. You know, it was kind of just like, I'm learning on the fly, which is a, you know, I'm very thankful to Bloom for basically giving me an education and how to work and, and how to, you know, and, and so many things, um, and paying me to, to learn it, you know, at the same time. Um, but I, you know, I, I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't really self-confident at the beginning, um, that I knew how to do any of these things well, you know? So I was just like, I'm just going to keep on trying to do what I feel is right. And, and next thing you know, I'm getting, I'm getting promotions, I'm getting good raises, I'm getting recognized. And, uh, and I'm going, you know, so I, I guess this is the way to do it, you know, <laughs> just, uh, um, you know, try to be completely honest and uh, not not ambitious in the way that I'm just trying to make it up the chain, you know, make it up the ladder, I guess, kind of a thing. Just put my nose down and do the job and, and good things will happen. So, you know, the, uh, there's a few guys who stand who, who kind of um, I think uh, I, I saw that early on and I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that those are the guys I chose to model my behavior after instead of the other guys you know well, i think the guys you were talking about at the beginning who are ambitious just for climbing up the ladder or just for brown nosing or just for whatever um that's actually what kind of changed with me when i read the quote that uh, this podcast is based off of it says that true ambition is not what we thought it was true ambition is the profound desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of god <laughs>